Hi, this is Evan from WCCF Tech, and the Intel Pentium Gold G7400 shows some remarkable result while being only a dual-core design. As far as specifications are concerned, the Intel Pentium Gold features two cores and four threads based on the 10 nanometer ESF Golden Cove core architecture. As you can tell, it's a very entry-level dual-core processor with a clock speed of up to 3.7 GHz. The CPU carries 6 MB of L3 cache and 2.5 MB of L2 cache within a 46 watt TDP package. Being an entry-level design, the chip will cost just $64 US. As for performance, the CPU was tested in both Cinebench R23 and Cinebench R15. In R23, the Pentium Gold scored 3,814 points in the multi-threaded test and 1,396 points in the single-threaded test, while in R15, the chip scored a total of 543 points in the multi-threaded and 205 in the single-threaded tests. For comparison, we use ComputerBase's public Cinebench R23 benchmark repository, which lists down several scores from various communities and from various CPUs. The Intel Pentium Gold, being a dual-core design, shows that it can still flex against AMD's older quad-core chips such as the Ryzen 3 3200G. The Ryzen 2 and Ryzen 3 parts will be much faster due to their increased IPC performance and non-monolithic designs. Still, a dual-core being on par with the quad-core is impressive, but you might ask why the lead for the Pentium Gold is lower than the Celeron G6900 against the same Ryzen 3 3200G. The thing is that the Celeron entry was running off a higher power limit provided by ASRock's BFB technology. The chip was clocked at plus 1 GHz higher than its stock clocks, and we can expect similar, if not better, performance if we were to do the same on the Pentium Gold G7400. Compared to its predecessor, the G6400, the Pentium Gold G7400 ended up being 30% faster, which is great for the entry-level segment, looking to get better performance in the sub $100 US price range. The Pentium and Celeron chips are almost twice as fast as AMD's Athlon CPUs, which are quite old at this point. And while AMD is planning to offer new Athlon 4000G chips soon, they would have a hard time matching up with the prowess of the Golden Cove cores. Also, the addition of SMT for Pentium parts may just prove them worthwhile in gaming, which isn't the case for the Celeron chips as reported by Random Gaming HD. But what do you think? Would you be grabbing an Intel Pentium Gold G7400 for your next budget gaming build? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.